Hey everybody, Justin from Just O Show here with you behind the scenes at Just O Show Behind the Scenes. Today we will be creating line art from Blender. Now let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, go to File, go to User Preferences, and we're gonna hit Add-ons. Once we go to Add-ons, we're gonna search for SVG, and you should see Render Freestyle SVG Exporter check that box make sure there's a check on it and you're good to go save your settings close out of that window next what you want to do is you're going to come over here to the render property or the uh yeah the renders property and then you want to scroll down and you should see freestyle and freestyle svg now if you didn't install the svg exporter only thing you would see is freestyle so you want to check both of these. What the Freestyle SVG export is, it it does what the name is. It exported as uh, SVG. Another thing you're gonna to want to do is come up here to Output. Open up to where you want to save on your computer your SVG file because every time you render, it will save a SVG file. So also remember that if you make changes, like say if you have two different angles to rename your SVG output file, something else, or it will get overwritten. And you'll have to find that same angle again. Now after that, what we're gonna do is come to the render layers. And if you just want to have just the line art, then what you're gonna have to do all these will be checked so under layer unselect everything and then check freestyle so everything but freestyle should be unchecked if not this is what you get you'll get that right there I mean that's fine you know if you want to uh, you know use this textures and lights but still have the line art around your models and such but I'm doing this for line art so I'm just gonna uncheck that another thing you're gonna wanna do is if you're using any program that allows you to edit SVG such as Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape then you'll want to come down to freestyle line style and then stroke should be checked but click on geometry and you will probably see sampling this modifier uncheck it you don't want it that'll have so many points if you keep that on there it'll be like thousands of points now this reduces the amount of points there's a very big difference I mean you can try it out for yourself and see and yeah oh also if you want to change the thickness of your line to Maybe, you know, whatever you want the thickness, this is where you change the thickness. I'm going to probably change mine to, I think I'll keep it at three. And then, oh. And here we go. There's my line art. That's at three. F12 to render, and this is at one. Now you will have some lines missing, but this this is because I, if I go into my model, that's this part right here where my mouse is. Let me drag on. So if I go into this, it's because it's all one model. It's it's just one mesh. I modeled this out of one mesh. I mean, I wasn't modeling the inside, so I probably yeah, yeah, all one mesh. I thought about doing this different but every house is going to have its own little sidewalk so I just kept it on there so so that's why that line wasn't there let me go out of that let me go back here all right so now once you have your model you can bring it into Photoshop and here's what I kind of came up with I always have like a background so I can see what needs to be colored and whatnot so and then I have my dark sky and then uh, the fences and then these are the other houses and then the ground 
then of course the sidewalks and the slab and whatnot. Uh, there's nothing on that one, and then I have the grass. This is my first time doing grass texture, so uh, don't laugh at me, okay? I like it. I just gotta clean this up right here. And then also there's Justin. I wanted to do a size reference, make sure it was all right, and it's all right. And then I just did some photo filters for the dark nighttime scene and then I can add some light light in and if I wanted to add like extra detail I can just go in there and draw it but I have not colored our house yet so yeah that's what I'll be doing you'll probably see it at the beginning maybe no I think I'm gonna leave it like this but that is how you take your blender model and turn it into a SVG coloring or painting or whichever you prefer now I would do this in Moho but I ran into a lot of issues so I've decided to just paint in Photoshop and if I wanted to do another angle all I have to do is just put another camera I think I actually keep this camera here just in case I want to use that angle in the future just put another camera here take a shot do the whole process over or I could color everything here and just come in and do my touch-ups and call it a day but, you know, I'm still going to experiment with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. And also, if you want to see my works, check out my main channel, Justo Show. And I will see you guys later.